It's the 25th of May, it's African Day, and you are tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, this week, I got to test drive two vehicles. I feel like I'm part of the team from At Overdrive TV, <laughs> and they're in studio with me. I was saying maybe I should be Gavin's uh, identical twin sister because we look so, alike. That's very, very flattering. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> really and Chiro's here yeah, as well. Thanks, Guys, Lisa. it was great spending time with you this week, and now we're on the show together chatting about brand new cars. Absolutely. There what's, we go. Uh, what's hot that you test drove? Well, with the starting this week, we're going to start with the Mercedes B-Class. Now, um, I know there's a power war going on between the three major German manufacturers, Audi, BMW and Merck. It's a power war. Who can have the most kilowatts? But there's also seems to be an unnecessary segment war going on between them. We're also known as the Segment Unnotige Krieg in German. I just Google <laughs> translated that. Anyway, um, they, they're all trying to outdo each other by creating cars I'm not really sure that we need. And the B-Class certainly feels like one of those. It used to be that the designers, we'd tell designers what we wanted and they designed a car, a car accordingly. Now it seems they know what we want before we do, yeah. and they make a car and expect us to buy it. So the B-Class, it's kind of a family-sized car. It's a, sort of like a Honda FRV-sized. Um, so if you've got 2.16 children, or whatever the average is, it's probably the sort of thing <laughs> that you'd be looking at. Um, so it's slightly more convenient than the A-Class, which is the very baby Merc, mm -hmm. and it's uh, slightly, it has slightly more boot than the C-Class, so it makes it desirable more in terms of space. Um, but it really is wedged between the two, but um, I don't know if it really feels like a bit of a stopgap. Uh, first of all, naming a car B anything, I don't think is a great idea. I mean, you get B movies, you get the B team, you know, <laughs> BMW. Yeah. Um, so, 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 I mean, so you've got to ask well, yourself. I'm waiting for Chiro to in there. <laughs> no, I just thought I really asked. Yeah, so, so are we getting everything that makes a Merc a Merc with the B class? I think the answer to that is yes and no, which isn't really an answer at all. The thing is, um, Chiro drove it. He thought it was too noisy. And I, didn't, I didn't spend too much time in this yeah. car, I must be honest. And uh, so I can't, I don't want to comment too much, and that's why I'm leaving it most to Gav yeah. but uh, I just said to him I was like Gav nah, too noisy and it's, it's a nice car but it's not necessarily a nice Merc and he was he would, wouldn't have any of it yeah, like, give me that after, after, my, <laughs> after, my, after my recent BMW lapses I thought I have to give the three-pointed star a lot, of, a lot of time so I spent a lot of time with the B class now looks wise I think this car is pretty awesome I mean compared to the old one it just it looks fantastic I got a lot of turned a lot that of heads people were kind of craning their necks to see the badge at the front and always seemed a bit surprised that it was a Merc it really does look good it even looks good in red which I don't think any Mercedes looks good in red, <laughs> except the one that almost won the 1971 Spa 24 hour race. But that's if another Gav was president of Merck, which, which will never happen. Probably yet. won't happen. Yeah. He would ban red. <laughs> no Mercedes would ever be red again. <laughs> but anyway, onto the car. We have the two litre diesel, and it starts up in low revs. I had to agree with Chiro, it did feel a bit clattery. Um, and diesels these days have got superbly quiet and smooth. So it was a little noisy which compared to other cars in the segment. But then w once I got out on the highway, the certain Mercedesness just took over and the car felt beautifully smooth and comfortable and you felt really safe for your 2.16 kids in the back. So it was, it, was, it was really cool. It was almost like one of those um, plane trips you take where the, the, the takeoff's a bit dodgy and you think, wow, is that noise really important? <laughs> is there, yeah. And then once you get to cruising altitude, everything is perfect. So it, it kind of felt like that. Um, it comes in at just under 400,000 Rand, which is not, not, not ridiculously expensive and not cheap either. And, and you are getting a Mercedes Benz. So, yeah, I'm, I, was, I was overall pretty impressed with the B Class. It's Zero. So, now I had to, I had to review uh, our other car this last week, and yeah. I, I just thought. I read the press release and I got to the line about heel-proof carpets and then I just phoned Liesl. <laughs> <laughs> Liesl, you're driving a car this week. That's exactly what he did. You actually direct messaged me on Twitter and went, do you want to drive a car? And of course I went, yes, I want to drive a car. <laughs> Thinking that it's going to be a man's Maserati. car. Maserati. <laughs> Man, he man's sends car. the press release and it's a car aimed at women. I was a bit worried because being a bit of a petrol junkie myself, which I got from my dad, this car is amazing. It's the new Dahatsu Terios. Ladies, even though it says Diva on the side, you're going to want this car. Take a listen to this. <laughs> it has a reversing camera, yep. built-in uh, GPS. It has passenger airbags, ABS, EBD, brake assist. It also has a baby baby seat mounting points. Hello. <laughs> Crash sensing fuel cutoff system, front seat belts that uh, lock in. Um, and it's... those carpets. I mean, the heel-proof <laughs> carpets. Huh? This yeah. is the debate we've been having. Let's first talk yeah. about how amazing this car drives. This yeah. car is so smooth. We've took, we took it for a drive. I, I had a whole of the Express team piled into the car with camera equipment as oh, well that's good to know to, to test drive how much stuff we could actually fit in the car bike racks can fit in the back yeah. um, and then of course the car handles really well but it has 
heel proof carpets, <laughs> which was a big debate for me because I'd always been told you cannot drive in high heels, even though I do it. I thought it was a law yeah. in South Africa that I'm you not can't drive sure. with high heels. I just think it's a I, skill I've never mastered I'm and never will. I'm not be worried if you I can't find anything in my size, yeah. But, um... <laughs> the heights stood out for me for that. It aimed at every single aspect that a woman wants in a car. It's perfect. Yeah. The heel proof carpets are perfect because I always run my carpets driving yeah. in heels. But it opens the big debate. Do you drive in heels? Tweet us at uh, Expresso Show and at Overdrive TV. Let us know. We want to know if you're driving heels, if you're a woman and you're driving heels. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, the only thing I can say about the Daihatsu is I saw it and it had that diva stickers on That's it. That's what worried me a little bit. It looked a bit beautiful. like those henna tattoos you get at music festivals. Which I was like, <laughs> it stands out. It makes people stare at you. And it was, I won't I'm say so it was a challenge you driving it. it. I could definitely give it a, a, a 10 out of 10. And when you say it was about 245,000? Yep, it comes in at under 250,000. It's a bargain for all the kits you're getting in that. Yeah. So that was my challenge this week from the team from Overdrive yeah. TV. We are heading over to the team from SABC 3's reality show Manhunt, posing them some challenges. Guys, thanks for joining Thank us. You. Over to you, Kat. Stay with Expresso and SABC 3.